Welcome back to channel, my name is Hafiz. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert your Japanese Game Boy games into English. If you are new here, do consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you. Over the years, I've collected a lot of Game Boy games. Most of these games are either English or in Japanese. Some of these games I could not play as I couldn't read the language. The Madarot series is one of them. The Madarot series is an action-adventure RPG game that was released in 1997 for the Game Boy. This game is only available in Japanese, making it very hard for someone who don't understand or read Japanese. Today, I will teach you how to do a language patch for these games. Alright, let's begin. Use the first link in the description to download the GB Translator. Here I'm downloading it onto my desktop. The file will be in zip file. Here I'm using WinRNR to extract my file. You can also use 7-zip. Extract the file onto your desktop. Now you can delete the zip file. Open up the GB translator. There should be two files inside the folder. Luna IPS will be the patching tool, while the Visual Boy Advance is the emulator that we'll be using to test the games. Now let's look for some translation. Click the second link in the description that will take you to romhacking.net. There's a lot of interesting article here, but today we're going to focus on translation. So go under section, click translation. Let's look for the translation patch for our Madarot game. Click the drop down menu on platform and select Game Boy. Click on go to start search. Scroll down and let's look for Madarot. Most of these games are Japanese RPG games with no official English version of these games. Having this translation patch will allow more people to enjoy and experience these RPG games. Here we have found Madarot. This patch was recently released on 2nd of January and it is fully playable. Click the game title, it will take you to the information page. Here you can read more about the game, the development team and the patch that they have produced. Scroll all the way down to links. Here we're going to click on download to download the patch. I've downloaded the file onto my desktop for easy accessibility. Unzip the file. The patch file will be on the .ips format. There are two files here. This is because the Madarot has two versions. Open up the GB Translator folder. We will extract the IPS file into the GB Translator folder. Once you are done, you can delete the zip file. Now that we have the patch file, we need to find the original ROMs so that we can patch the file. Let's go back to the download page and take a look at the description. This is the ROMs file needed for us to patch the IPS file onto. ROMs files are your digital copy of these games. I can't tell you where to get your ROMs from. You can either dump it using a dumper from your original cartridge or you can do a simple Google search for Game Boy ROMs. These are the two ROMs required which I have extracted using a Game Boy dumper from my cartridge. On the GB Translator folder, create a new folder. Rename it as original. This is where you're going to put your original ROMs inside. Copy your ROMs and paste it inside the original folder. Next, we'll copy the ROMs onto the GB Translator folder. This will be the ROMs that we will use for patching. So now we have one patch file and one ROM file. Luna IPS is a free tool that you can use to patch language translation and ROM hacks. Double click on Luna IPS, click on Apply IPS Patch, select the IPS Patch. Here we do the Madarot Kabuto version first. Next, select the ROM. Since we are patching the Kabuto version, we will select the Kabuto version ROM. And we are done. Let's test it out using the Visual Boy Advanced Simulator. Double click the emulator, we will first start up the original so we can do some comparison. Select the original ROM, click it, drag it onto the emulator. We will open up another Visual Boy Advance. Double click on the emulator, we will now load the patch ROM. Select and drop it onto the emulator. Notice that this is in English now. The title screen has also been updated. There are some developer messages here. Everything is in English now. We will do some side-by-side -side comparison with the original ROM. Notice that everything is in the original language. Now that it's in English, you can continue playing it on your emulator, on your PC or if you have an EverDrive, you can transfer this ROM onto it so you can play it on your Game Boy. I have transferred the ROMs onto this EverDrive. Now let's play on the Game Boy Color. On the Game Boy Pocket, I have the original cartridge, while on the Game Boy Color, I have the patch file. Everything works perfectly and the audio is in sync.
The team have done a good job in translating this game. Finally, you can now play, understand and experience this game. In my opinion, the best way to experience this game is to play on the Super Famicom using the Super Game Boy. Using the Super Game Boy, you can unlock the borders for this game. Here, you can read the developer message again. Let's skip to the battle scene. And there you go, that's how you translate your game from Japanese to English using the IPS Luna patch. If you have found this video useful, do consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it will help the channel grow. We have just crossed 230 subscribers and I'm very grateful for all your support. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.